Hi. Uh, today I'd like to introduce the storage system of uh, 25 petaflops Oak, Oak Forest Pax. So Oak Forest Pax is a brand new supercomputer just introduced at this conference. Uh, I'm Osamu Tatebe from the uh, University of Tsukuba. So at first I'd like to introduce the uh, DCA HPC. That is a joint center uh, for advanced high performance computing. So this is established under the agreement uh, between uh, two universities, uh, University of Tsukuba and also University of Tokyo. So this center uh, is basically established to design and operate this new supercomputers, 25 petaflops Oak Forest Pack supercomputers. So this, this machine uh, is ranked uh, number six in this uh, top 500 list, and also uh, in the HPCZ list, uh, it's uh, uh, number three uh, in, the, in this, in this in uh, in November list. So this is a, a very new, newer version of a top 500 uh, list. Uh, if we look at that, so this uh, sixth rank, the Oak Forest Pack is uh, uh, ranked in. Uh, uh, peak performance in 25 petaflops, and, uh, and also the R max is uh, 13 uh, petaflops, 13.5 petaflops. And also, this is a HPCD uh, November list. And you see uh, the, in the number three position, the Oak Forest Park is ranked in. So it's a more than the Sunway Typhoon right, and also the Cori system. Okay. Here. So this machine uh, is uh, just introduced uh, this uh, this year and uh, will be operated from the this this December. And uh, it has a uh, 25 petaflops peak performance. And uh, so this machine is a quite ambitious machine. So the number one is that. Uh, the compute node utilizes a, a brand new Intel Xeon Phi uh, night landing system. And also, uh, each compute node and the storage system is connected uh, by an Intel OmniPath architecture. So this is actually the uh, first system to, to, be to, to be installed uh, with such a very big system. And also, uh, uh, more than the parallel file system, we have a, a file system cache system. And for, for uh, file system cache system, we use the IME 14K with uh, Omnipath. So this is also the uh, first system. So, so, so that's why this system is very ambitious. The, the, the three components, very important component is uh, actually the, is the first available system. Okay, so the totally the compute node has uh, uh, 18,000 18, nodes, and the uh, parallel file system uh, we use raster file system is a 26 uh, petabyte system and 500 gigabyte per second bandwidth. And for the uh, uh, file system cache, we use IME. Uh, we have a uh, 25 IME systems. In totally, almost one petabyte system, NVMe SSD, and 1.5 pet, uh, terabyte per second I/O bandwidth. Okay, so we are now focused on the parallel file system uh, for o OFP. So we use a raster file system, and you see uh, there are the metadata servers. We have a three set of metadata servers. Uh, for each of them, there are the four four metadata servers, and uh, and three set of four metadata servers. And also we have a uh, 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. 10, 10 set of SFA, uh, 14K embedding. So totally it has a uh, 26 petabyte. And uh, uh, each SFA 40K uh, can deliver the, uh, almost five, 50 gigabyte per second. So that why uh, we we have a ten set so a peak performance uh, fifty times times 
times 10, so 500 gigabytes per second. So regarding the file system cache, uh, we use uh, DDN IME. Uh, so you see there is a 25 set of uh, IME. So this one, each, each, each box is IME 40K. And uh, so there is a five times five, so uh, 25 IME there. And each IME box uh, uh, delivers almost 60, 60 gigabytes per second. So 60 times 25, so almost it's a 1.5 1 terabyte. Uh, thousand and uh, uh, 400, uh, 500 gigabytes per second. And total it's almost uh, one petabyte system. Uh, uh, NVMe SSD is installed. Okay, so this is a diagram of the storage system uh, for uh, Oak Forest packs. So we have a compute node, 25 petaflops, KNL, 8,000 nodes, and uh, we have parallel file system. So this is a 26 petabyte, uh, 10 SSA, uh, 40K. And also we have a file system cache. So regarding the bandwidth, so between compute node and the file system cache, it's a, a 1.5 terabyte per second. And uh, regarding the parallel file system, it's a 500 gigabyte per second. So you see uh, just a three, three x uh, difference. So you may you may think about this is uh, this is not so big, but actually, if we if uh, if we use a, uh, if we access a single shared file from a parallel file system, so in that case, this compute node directly access the parallel file system. In that case, uh, we can oh, almost uh, roughly uh, uh, it's a one one hundred uh, times uh, slower bandwidth. So that means that even though the peak performance is a five hundred gigabyte per second, if we uh, if we access to the shared single file system, uh, in shared single file, in that case, uh, it's a, it provides a very poor performance. But uh, using a file system cache, we still uh, may achieve uh, this, this uh, performance, one terabyte per second. So that is, uh, that is why we introduce a, a file system cache to this system. So this touch of how to access the file system cache. So regarding the parallel file system, so this is mounted at uh, a, a work, file, a work uh, directory. In that case, so each compute node can access using uh, MPIIO and also using POSIX uh, access to this, this directory. But uh, in case of the file system cache, uh, there are two ways. One is the MPIIO, but with the IME uh, column prefix. And also, or POSIX access, but in a different directory, slash cache directory. So this cache, uh, file system cache is mounted at this uh, cache directory. So uh, we use a different uh, mount point. And also, uh, between the file system to the file system cache, so the file need to be uh, moved from uh, between these file system. At that time, uh, we need to use uh, IME commands. So, okay. So, so using a uh, POSIX ac access to the IME uh, bus buffers. So we use just a uh, uh, ordinary method, uh, just a, a cache directory and the uh, path name. So we can access the uh, files in the uh, IME using that. So the thrust cache is a mount point that is used in the uh, op Oak Forest Pack system. And thrust cache and the thrust work. So this is a parallel file system. That's a file system. Uh, about the uh, same, uh, same namespace. So you can see the same, same, same namespace, same, but the different directories. Different mount point, but the same namespace. So regarding the MPIIO, uh, we need to add the 
IME column uh, prefix uh, just before the uh, file name. So to do that, we can access the uh, file system cache. Okay. So for IME command, uh, so when the file is moved from the copy from a parallel file system to the file system cache, we use the IME prestage command to copy the file from the file system to the file system cache. And uh, when the, <coughs> the file, file is uh, uh, dirty, in that case, uh, the IME sync can copy back to the file system. The dirty file needs to be copied back to the file, file system using IME sync. And IME release uh, can, uh, can release the unnecessary or clean data, clean cache data. Um, and we can, uh, IME start can uh, investigate the status of the file in the cache. Okay. So, but uh, so this needs, uh, the user uh, need to be use such a, a command explicitly, so that why uh, we use uh, some transparency. So we are thinking about the integration of batch queuing system uh, to improve the transparency. So we can specify the state in and state and files uh, by the batch queuing uh, script. So state in uh, correspond to the uh, pre-state command from a parallel file system to the cache system and state out correspond to the IME sync command. So, and also that this staging it happens at the job submission, not just before the job execution. That's why uh, we can hide the staging latency uh, before the job execution. Uh, during the waiting the time uh, in the job patching system, and also, even if staging has not been finished at the job execution, a file can be accessed from the parallel file system. So there is no error occurred, even though there is no file in the cache system. So that's why it's a more than the uh, staging state in that uh, 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 no file can uh, a file that is not uh, stored in the cache system can be accessed. And also, uh, we add the support for the temporal directories. So, uh, temporal files that is created at the cache system uh, needs to be cleaned up uh, explicitly. So, that way we can uh, add the support uh, to, to clean up the temporal files, the temporal directory uh, for you uh, by a batch queuing system. So, to improve the uh, transparency. Uh, for the file system cache. Okay, so I, I'm now introduced uh, storage system uh, for the 25 petaflops of forest packs. Uh, it is a, a 26 petabytes and a 500 gigabytes per second parallel file system, and also 940 terabytes, 1.5. Uh, terabyte per second, a uh, file system cache. And uh, we improved the uh, transparency uh, uh, by uh, batch queuing system integration. And also now uh, we are uh, uh, doing uh, IO performance evaluation. So, so far we have uh, some uh, promising results. So comparing with the uh, peak IO band performance of the file system cache. So we will release the uh, uh, performance numbers soon, very soon. Okay, thank you.